8.30, leaving the Wairaki hut. Stayed in the hunter's hut last night. Uh, about 300 meters before the hut, I saw some manuka. Uh, it was like dead on the ground. So I grabbed a big branch of it, dragged it to the hut, then went back and got some more. Uh, chopped it up and uh, yeah, we had a lovely fire last night. Let's check out this river. Not too close to the bank. Crossing a bridge over there and uh, straight along. Oh, yep. Let's see where my colleagues are. found it quite funny one dude was like oh no no we don't need a fire I've got a, a warm sleeping bag so I made the fire anyway and he was the first one to pull up a chair and sit beside it all night so a fire is a it's quite a welcoming thing it's like human natural instinct to sit around it here's the bridge Uh, yep. I think I had the name of the hut wrong before. Um, yeah. Uh, we're heading to the Wairiki. Uh, that one was, uh, I can't remember. Okay. Here we go. Alright, full drive track there, so that's leading to Hey Dan Robin. I'm Robin. Uh so 16k six hours. Oh uh, the other sign over at the hut said eight hours and people are commenting that it's gonna take four hours. Here we go. That's where I was last night. Aparima. Going to Lo Wairaki. It's already a different landscape. Uh, these little... Uh, is that bracken still? Or something different? Just a quick little coffee break upon uh, entering the bush. Like every coffee's uh, 500 grams off the pack weight. Uh, this should be uh, lots of mud and roots and moss. Uh, it is under a tree. That's just why they blow over. The roots only go down like 30 centimeters.
Mm. Uh, just had a 10.30 snack break on top of the hill there. Just because, why not? Uh, checked on the map, about 8 kilometers to the next hut. Uh, lower Wairaki. Not seeing how the, the 8 hours works out, because... Yeah, it's been going pretty good so far, about halfway, and shit, it's only been uh, two hours. So they're being quite uh, generous with their times there. Uh, back in the fern section. It's almost like time standing still. I don't know, can't explain really. That's this big flat with the ferns and all the danger trees. as T-Rex. Hey, it's downstream, might as well. Alright, going up there. Been a bit of up and down. A few rain spots, but nothing major. So, let's stop for another break. Or just a drink of water, basically. Ah, oh, that last uh, kilometer or so just it was almost like a blink and it was gone. I just was in a daydream. There's uh, been a bit of this. You, um, you go down the hill, cross the stream, and then back up the hill on the other side. Uh, lost count of how many times I've done that today. Yeah, down, cross the river, up. Then, repeat, repeat. Yeah, I uh, must say, top work to the, uh, to whoever's doing the chainsaw work around here. Like, so many trees down. This is an old one, but, yeah, about 50 meters back, there was a, like a fresh one. And uh, the trail mark is awesome, too. Like, three times the amount you'd see on any other track. But I guess with the amount of trees that fall down, they, uh, they just lose their markers quite a bit. Like, uh, yeah, that's a fresh marker. But yeah, these beech trees, they, they can look good, but then... Yeah, they're dead on the inside. The big wind comes along and over they go. But yeah, the track's been pretty good. Like I can see right now, four markers. Look the other way. One, two, three, four. Even though the track's well defined, but if a tree comes down, you sort of, yeah, you'd lose your way. Back in the mossy land. About 3k to the hut. It's nearly one o'clock. Okay, a sign. Ah, 45 minutes to the hut. It's weird being a, like a, 
a junction and it's just a two-sided sign like yeah yeah I'm used to ones that are like like a road sign they're actually pointing the way I'll double check that so I'm going the right way yep straight ahead 3k okay how muddy wash off in the river and the hut's about a hundred meters away all right let's get clean and have lunch all right at the little hut lower Wairiki yeah took about six hours to get here it's uh, about three o'clock now I've had uh, lunch Four monks and a fireplace. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just stay here for the rest of the day. I'll go hunt up some firewood and have another glorious fire. Uh, yeah, everyone likes a fire. Uh, Got a river down there. There it is. Ugh. Seeing eight hours to the next one, possibly six. Yeah. I'll have a short day tomorrow and then the big day through the farm after that. Head Danny up there. <laughs> 